Welcome to the How to Set Up YTech 2 for Aftermarket Users video. In this video we'll cover how to create an aftermarket YTech 2 account, how to purchase a YTech 2 vehicle communications interface or VCI device, how to register a VCI or J2534 device, how to purchase a YTech 2 subscription, how to assign a YTech 2 subscription to a VCI or J2534 device how to assign users to a VCI or J2534 device, how to set up a new Okta account for logging into YTech2 Aftermarket, how to download, install, and run the VCI setup utility, how to update the VCI device, and how to set up Wi-Fi on the VCI device. First, navigate to fcaytech.com and select Aftermarket, then select Get Started. When the Mopar Technical Service Portal, or MTSP, page loads, select Aftermarket, if necessary, then select Register to create an Aftermarket account. Enter your email address and select Sign Up. Check your email and follow the instructions to finish setting up your account. When you finish creating your account, log in to the MTSP. MTSP requires multi-factor authentication via a PIN that is delivered via text, call, or email using the addresses provided at account setup. On first login, the MTSP will request your mailing address. Select Purchase. If you do not have a YTEC2 aftermarket VCI device, you'll first need to purchase a VCI device or MDP. Follow the steps to complete the purchase of a YTEC2 VCI device. The purchase VCI device will be automatically registered in your MTSP account. If you already have a YTEC2 aftermarket VCI device, select Register New Device. Select the device type, enter the serial number, and select Register. If you're going to register a J2534 device, first you'll need to download and install the J2534 application. To do this, select Support, then Download J2534 application. Note: The J2534 application is only compatible with Windows PCs. When the download completes, launch and complete the installation of the J2534 application. When the installation is complete, launch the J2534 application from the Windows desktop. Select the Help menu, then About YTEC2. Copy the serial number information and return to the MTSP page. On the MTSP page, select Dashboard, then Register New Device. Select the J2534 device radio button. Paste the serial number and select the Register button. The registered new device request confirmation appears. Monitor your email for confirmation when the registration is complete. Registration takes one to two business days. After you receive the registration complete confirmation email, log into the MTSP and notice the newly added device in the dashboard. To purchase a subscription for the VCI device, select Purchase, then YTEC 2.0 subscriptions, and then complete the steps to purchase the desired subscription. You'll receive a subscription purchase confirmation email. In the MTSP, navigate to the dashboard. Select the newly registered device and select a subscription to add to the device and select Assign. Select Add User to add YTech users to this MTSP account and enter the new user's name and email address, then select Save. The new user will receive an email from Okta requesting the complete setup of their new account. Then select the plus to the right of any users you'd like to add to the device. Multiple users can be added to each device. Additional users can be added from the dashboard and from the Manage Users page. Each user will receive an email from Okta with the account setup instructions. Okta is the tool used to log into YTech2. 
Follow the Okta account setup instructions and enter your desired account password, security questions, and recovery phone number. Verify the recovery phone number with the value Okta texted to you. And finally select Create My Account. Next, select the desired authentication method. To utilize the Okta Verify or Google Authenticator, a smartphone or tablet will be needed. To utilize the YubiKey, navigate to www.yubico.com forward slash store and purchase the desired YubiKey. Note, YTEC2 supports all makes except for the FIDOU2F security key. In this instance, we'll show how to complete the setup with Google Authenticator. First, select the desired operating system for your smartphone. Then on your smartphone, download the Google Authenticator app from the necessary app store and open it. On the PC, select Next. On the smartphone, select Scan a QR Code. On the PC, select Next and enter the code from the Authenticator app and select Verify. Google Authenticator displays as an enrolled factor. Scroll to the bottom of the page and select Finish. For J2534 device users, perform the following. Ensure you have installed the appropriate J2534 device driver before proceeding. Connect your J2534 device to the PC and launch the J2534 application. Upon launch, the J2534 application will check for updates. If there is an update, follow the on-screen prompts to complete the update. Select the Connect menu, then Device, and select the connected J2534 device. The YTEC2 J2534 app will then prompt you for your Okta login credentials. Enter your credentials and perform the secondary authentication method to proceed. Once you agree to the terms and conditions, you'll now be ready to start diagnosing vehicles with YTEC2. For YTEC2 VCI devices or MDPs and Micropod 2s, perform the following. Upon selecting Finish, Okta loads to the home page. Bookmark this page for ease of future navigation. Selecting the YTEC2 button launches the YTEC2 diagnostic application. Return to the MTSP website and select Support, then Download and Install the VCI Setup Utility. When the installation is complete, minimize the browser and launch the VCI Setup Utility by selecting the VCI Setup Utility icon on the desktop. Connect the VCI device to the PC via USB and proceed through the VCI setup utility steps. The VCI setup utility will take 10 to 15 minutes to complete. After the VCI setup utility successfully completes the setup of the VCI, be sure to leave the VCI setup utility open and return to the YTEC in the browser. The VCI will display in the vehicle selection screen with an update available. Select continue and follow the steps to complete the update. The update process will take 10 to 15 minutes to complete. When the update is complete, select OK to return to vehicle selection. Now, to configure Wi-Fi on the VCI device, select the device manager gear in the top right. Select the network drop-down and then select the desired Wi-Fi network. Enter the network passphrase and select Connect. When the VCI successfully connects to the network, a checkbox will appear next to the network name and a valid IP address displays. Close the Device Manager tab and disconnect the VCI from the USB cable. Now the VCI is ready for use with YTEC. To perform functions such as ECU programming, key programming, viewing service information, and other similar functions, you'll have to purchase a Tech Authority subscription. To do so, navigate to techauthority.com, then online subscriptions, and purchase the desired subscription.
If you experience any difficulties in setup, navigate to the support page in the MTSP website. Thanks for watching. For additional information and support, consult the YTEC Knowledge Base or contact YTEC Support. Please select the YTEC2 graphic to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date on all the latest news and how-tos.